Hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video, I have another boom arm to go over, and this one is from IX Tech again, so thanks to them for providing this arm. This is their Valiant model, so I'm going to do the usual by unboxing it, showing what comes in there, and then I'm going to show how to set it up, so let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is open this box and see what's inside. Okay, so now we're going to go over what came in the box. The first thing we have is the instructions. Then we got the boom arm, the ball mount, the desk clamp, hardware for the desk clamp and the grommet mount, a magnetic cap to cover up the adjustment screws on the boom arm, adhesive pattern for the desk clamp or the grommet mount to protect the top of your desk, a riser or a 6 inch extension, whatever you feel like calling it, the last thing we have is an Allen key with a flathead on the end. Okay, so that was everything that came in the box. So now I'm going to start by assembling the desk clamp so I can use that on my desk. Okay, to set up the desk clamp, it's actually not too hard. So all you really need is you'll need this little bracket piece here. You need a little washer. There's a little Phillips screw head here. And then there is this little plastic little piece here. So I'm actually going to put that on first and this little plastic piece actually sets onto the top of the shaft here and the bigger end is actually facing down. And then you would just take this little piece here, set it on top, and then you set your washer on top of that and then you take your little Phillips screw and set it into the top of there. I'm actually surprised how quick I got that in there. <laughs> And then you want to take a Phillips head screwdriver. I found this really weird looking one, so I will use it because it makes this part a little easier. Okay, so that is pretty tight down there. So the last thing you need to do is actually take the little pad and set it on there. It doesn't have to really be centered too much. But that should be good enough there. So that should protect the top of your desk. Okay, so before you actually go out and buy one of these boom arms, you want to make sure this desk clamp will work with your desk. And this actually has an adjustment range of 0.39 of an inch to 2.16 of an inch. So if you have anything bigger than that, this will not work for it. So now I will show you how to set up the grommet mount. So the first thing you want to do is actually unscrew this little shaft. You're going to need that, so just set it aside. Then you want to take the little allen key tool they provided and loosen these little screws here. This is going to take a minute, so give me a second. Okay, so you want to take all three of these screws out. And this pretty much separates from it. You do not need that, so you can just set that off aside. So you need this other little piece they provided. And then you just want to make sure your screws are going to go in the bottom here and then you just got to line it up with this little top portion here it's easier to get one started and then do the other two actually maybe not maybe it's easier to get two of them <laughs> okay so after you have your screws tightened down you want to take the little padded piece and try to center it as best as you can like that and then you want to take your little washer thing, make sure your pad is facing up, and just pretty much slot it on there like that. And there's actually threads in this little base part here, and that will screw into there eventually. There we go. So there's one thing I forgot to mention about the grommet mount, and if you're actually going to drill a hole in your desk, or you already have a pre-existing one, you want to make sure it is actually a 0.39 of an inch wide. If not, it will not fit in there, and you may have to drill a bigger hole. And it actually has a maximum of a 1.96. If you go any bigger than that, it will not work at all, so don't go that big. And then the only other thing is you don't have to worry about the shaft going too far deep in there. If you can see it right now, the extensions and the actual boom arm are hollow, so they should just slide right over that and you do not have to worry about it. So that's pretty much all you would have to do to set up the grommet mount. So the next thing we're going to do is actually install the ball head mount onto the actual arm. 
Okay, so this is the ball mount. So this pretty much acts as the connection rod from the boom arm to your mic. Right here are your little adapters to pretty much hook onto your mic. I think the end one is the 5 8 and then underneath that is the 3 8 And then you get your lock and nut here. So the easiest way I found to install these is actually just take your finger and hold the little back nut back there. And then pretty much take off the wing nut. And then you just pop off the top piece. I'm going to try to switch hands without dropping it. So what I usually do is I lift this piece up like that. I set my ball down on there. Take the little top cover and line it up. There's a little lip inside there that pretty much holds this onto the uh, boom arm. So close that and then I just take my wing nut and pretty much tighten it back down. And that's it. So you can just use this to adjust which way you want your pretty much mic to be facing from there. Okay so now we're gonna go into pretty much setting everything up and that's gonna start with the desk mount. Okay to set up the desk clamp it's actually really simple. First thing I would do is actually adjust this to about the thickness of your desk and then you just slide that on to wherever you're gonna put it and then you just turn this until it is pretty firm in place as you can see that is not moving okay so now I am going to install the boom arm and it's actually very simple all you do is take this post and you just insert it into the desk clamp just like that and if you wanted to use the extension all you would do is take that out put that there and put the boom arm right on top as you can tell it is getting very tall so I am NOT actually going to use the extension I'm just going to use this as a normal boom arm okay so now I'm going to go over some of the features of this boom arm one of them is it actually can be rotated 360 degrees which is nice and then you can set it up in a variety of different ways you can set it up as if you're gonna have it go up over your monitors you can have it set up as a conventional boom arm there's a variety of different ways you can set this thing up so that's kinda of neat it has built-in cable management channels they're actually underneath these plastic pieces on the top and they just kinda of slide out like that I already removed the bottom one just to make it a little easier on myself later. And then if you need to, there are actually adjustment screws on the top here. That's where you would actually use the Allen key for. And then if you did not want it to spin as fast, there's actually a screw on there. And there's actually a screw on the extension. Right here, you would use the flathead. You would just screw that in a little bit and it would actually tighten it up where it wouldn't move as easily. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna show you how to set up the mic, but I'm actually gonna use a little dummy mic for now. My quadcast gets better audio so I'm actually going to keep using that and then I'll switch over at the end. Okay so now I'm going to install this microphone. It's actually very simple. Right now it's actually set up for 5 8 so that will work perfect with this. So all I'm going to do is just screw that on. Okay just like that. Okay so the next thing I'm going to do is actually start running my USB cable so I'm actually just going to plug in the mic on the bottom here. Okay so now I'm going to start running the cable up through the cable management channel just like that and then I'm going to take this plastic piece and then just slide it over the top here to pretty much seal it up. I'm going to leave a little slack in the cord because I do not want it to pull on the mic when this actually flexes. So now I'm going to do the back here. In the back it's actually easier to go up from the bottom. Maybe. There we go. Just like that. Now the cable is covered. So now I am going to plug the microphone into the computer. Ooh, look at that RGB. 
So I'm happy with everything right there. And then the last thing I have to do is actually take that cap and cover up the adjustment screws. Just like that. Now the arm looks good. Now I gotta switch my microphone onto it. So after messing around with this boom arm for a little bit, this boom arm actually seems very practical. It can actually be set up in a variety of different ways, which is very useful. And it's actually pretty quiet when you move it, which is a good thing in case you bump your microphone a lot. So if you're actually interested in purchasing one of these boom arms, I will leave a link down below. They usually retail for about $110. But as you can see, they have discounts every now and then. So I guess keep an eye out for that. So that's going to be it for today's video. And I hope you enjoyed. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's going to be it. So I'll see you all in the next one.